All right, this is going to be a quick review of a service called USTV Now. So I've been using this service for a while now. Um, it's free for 45 days. Um, it gives you access to a bunch of local um, channels. None of them, I am based in California, so none of them are actually uh, the Los Angeles ones that I'm accustomed to watching. Um, but they do have some local channels here. And if you pay $20 a month for the first, I believe it's two or three months, um, and then after that it's uh, $30 um, for every month after, uh, you get this selection of uh, channels. So let's count them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, so I counted 30, but I see some of the, these are repeated, so I'm just going to say 28. So 28 channels um, for 20 bucks a month, uh, 30 if you choose to um, stick with them for longer than three months. And it's been an okay service. I've actually used it um, a couple times. I was actually trying to use it during the, um, during the Super Bowl and in actually had a horrible reception it wasn't even watchable so I don't know if that was just congestion on just that one channel just because it was the Super Bowl but I've there's been other times when I've tried to tune in and uh, it just get really bad uh, buffering and so if I hit the circle button here I'm actually using a Nexus player right now so as you can see this one is actually uh, 720 and it depends on the channel sometimes uh, they're not uh, let's go to my nine TMZ I meant to do that. This one says SD, so I'm, I'm going to assume this one's going to be only 4, 480. So it's kind of a hit and miss. Sometimes you get luck, sometimes you don't. Um, sometimes you're lucky and fortunate enough to get a 720p stream, sometimes you don't. ESPN, though, this is definitely one of the the main reasons I wanted to try out the service, just uh, was to see ESPN. Um, since I've used this, other services like Sling, Sling TV have come out that offer uh, ESPN for 20 bucks a month and that one doesn't increase after three months unlike this one but um, I wanted to get rid of uh, any type of cable service so whether it was a service through um, uh, Charter, Time Warner, Dish Network, DirecTV it, it, I was trying to cut the cord so I was trying to figure out a way that I can still maintain watching some channels that I might uh, want to watch uh, like AMC and AMC is actually on here anytime I've tried to watch uh, Better Call Saul it's never worked it's stuck on um, it starts buffering and it's not it's not even watchable so here's uh, AMC let's see if we have better luck right now looks like we are and it's on 720 so that's actually pretty good uh, Cartoon Network I've tried watching this one a couple times and again it's one of those hit and miss See right now it's actually uh, acting right and it's actually not freezing. Uh, keep it well. I mean I've only been watching it for about you know ten seconds or so. So if I stayed on the channel, I'm sure to see something uh, to see frames drop or it start buffering. But I don't want this video to be taken down for copyright infringement or anything like that. I'm just giving an overview of this uh, service. So with services out like US TV now and uh, Sling TV. Um, it gives you more choices to watch um, ESPN, AMC, and, you know, some of your favorite shows. And at the same time, uh, reduce your cable bill because we're only paying uh, $10, 20 $30 instead of paying uh, $80 that norm norm normally you would pay through a, a cable or a DirecTV or a Dish Network. So... Um, that's yeah, just a quick little overview. I've tried both this service and um, Sling TV. Uh, Sling TV, I got in with the deal of uh, it's like fifty dollars off my fi Fire TV, so I purchased another Fire TV. Uh, since the service was only sixty bucks and it saved me fifty bucks on a Fire TV, yeah, in my eyes, it cost me ten bucks for those first three months. So it was worth a uh, worth reviewing, and I'll give a more in depth review on that. But this is not bad. I mean, for twenty bucks a month, for thirty bucks a month, you get. I think we said about twenty eight channels, if if I'm not mistaken. Um, Sling TV offers a lot less, and Sling TV also has the the problem where you can only watch it on one device. 
So this one's the Nexus 7. I'm sorry, this is the Nexus player. So right now there's currently no uh, Sling TV application native to um, Android TV. There's one that's going to be coming out. There is one for the Fire TV though, and if you use the Fire TV application, you can't use it on another house, on another room, and that's one of the disadvantages. Uh, if you have a household that has uh, two or three TVs, I mean, if you're paying for Sling TV on three or four TVs, and you're paying sixty to eighty dollars, uh, does it make sense to even get Sling TV uh, for the limited channels that you're getting, or does it make more sense just to stick with the traditional cable? and uh, receive a lot more channels and still be within that 60 to $80 dollar range. Um, you know, it, it's it's a good question and it's one of those things that you just kind of have to um, see for yourself and what you, what your current uh, TV viewing um, lifestyle looks like. I mean, do you watch TV on the norm? And again, I only really paid for this just to kind of review, just to, but then I, I have tried watching it uh, during, uh, Again, during Better Call Saul, which is a um, a top uh, TV show right now, and I wanted to see how well it would do. And, and like I mentioned before, just cracked under pressure. Uh, the service just couldn't, wasn't reliable at all. It just kept buffering and uh, freezing. And there's been a couple of times where I lost signal completely, and it was uh, it was unwatchable. So, um, AMC is not on the Sling TV yet. Um, it's a channel that should be coming out soon, so when that channel comes out, I'll try uh, watching Better Call Saul on that, on the Sling TV service, and see if that's any better. But right now, uh, for someone who just wants to use a Nexus player or a Fire TV or another type of Android device and, and watch live TV, uh, there really is only three choices. Uh, one of them is to watch uh, US TV now. Uh, another way is to uh, pay for Sling TV, so you can use US TV now which is 30 bucks a month uh, $20 a month for Sling TV with less channels and that's another way that you can watch it of course you can pay for traditional cable and then you can uh, use other services like IPTV uh, services uh, those are private servers that you pay whatever the amount is that they're offer they're asking you and you get uh and it's i guess depends from service to service what channels you would be receiving some of them are channels from europe some of them are channels from mexico some of them are channels from south america brazil um you know all sorts of different locations and uh each one offers different packages so those are the only three ways that i can think of right now that you can watch live tv on an xbmc cody um uh setup uh, they have some other plugins like Phoenix. I know offers a couple of of channels, but never are they reliable. They always crash. They're always full. It's it's a hit and miss. Um, these services just kind of aren't mature yet. So, as far as someone who want, is thinking about purchasing a US TV Now service, the only thing, the only reason I would even recommend purchasing a service is if multiple people purchased it like if you or if, i'm sorry not multiple people purchased it if you wanted it for multiple tvs so let's say you wanted to watch this on a for a household that had four fire tvs and that's all they had right they only had fire tvs maybe an over the air antenna for local channels and uh you wanted everything just to be inside the the world of xbmc slash cody then then it would kind of make sense you know get the us tv now uh add-on pay for the account put the account on all four tvs and then everybody can watch uh their shows individually and i don't know how us tv now checks it but i was able to run four streams without them giving me any type of a uh, hassle about multiple strings streams kind of the stuff that you run into with a uh, uh, netflix or with like hulu plus uh, netflix i believe it's two concurrent streams if you're paying for the basic one and then you can pay for additional ones if you want but uh, the the basic package only offers two. Uh, same thing with uh, Hulu Plus. Uh, they only um, allow two concurrent streams before they give you the warning message. And for US TV now, again, there was none of those messages. I did try that for the Sling TV, and you kind of have the same kind of issues there. Is you can only watch one stream. That one's more restrictive because the other services can give you two, like Netflix and Hulu. But now uh, Sling TV was definitely only one <laughs> one stream. So. 
uh, that just concludes my quick little review on this uh, service called US TV Now. Do I recommend it? Only if you have multiple US TVs or, or maybe if you had a brother who also had a Fire TV and you just wanted to split the bill, something like that, then maybe it would make sense. Uh, for everything else, I just, I don't recommend purchasing, especially since it's $30. It's in the higher end. I think you're probably better off with a, with a Sling TV service or maybe just putting it over the air antenna and connecting that to the TV. All right. Well, thank you. Thanks for watching.